was the friend of Allah. When he came to this uh, uh, area, uh, he was from uh, Iraq. So he came from Iraq to this area, which is uh, called the uh, Asham. Asham, or the, or it's a kind. It's a, we call Asham nowadays. It is Syria, Syria and Syria, Lebanon, uh, Jordan, and Palestine. Okay. So uh, here the, the story of Ibrahim uh, Mosque and uh, the city of Abraham started uh, three thousand years ago when the prophet Abraham just arrived to this city here so after uh, when he came here the prophet Abraham okay if you want to buy bracelets from this one here this one 10 shekels and this one five shekels okay yeah, bye. 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 Half a million population here, and uh, the space, uh, the total space of Hebron, it is 972 kilometers square. Okay. Okay. Hebron has uh, many uh, villages. Uh, it's around 99 villages of Hebron, and this village has quarters. And if, I think that uh, the uh, the least village has. Uh, Headquarters. Okay, Hebron is also considered the economical uh, capital of Palestine. So our capital is Jerusalem, but the economical capital is Hebron, and it is known about its. Uh, um, the product from the leather, they make a, the bags, the shoes from the leather of the camel, and uh, also it is known by the glass factory. Okay, the glass, uh, the blue one, especially the blue one for the glass. And uh, also, uh, these are the main uh, two uh, crafts, handicrafts in Hebron. And after that, all of the products in Hebron, it came from China. <laughs> so here we, we produce the, uh, the shoes but uh, we use the Chinese shoes here because the happy night shoes are expensive you can say that okay you can now buy uh, Chinese shoes by uh, maximum maximum 30 shekels okay but if you want to buy uh, handmade the Palestinian shoes uh, at least 100 uh, 120 or 130 shekels mm. so you can see the difference between the prices yes. so it is better to buy uh, if you're from china <laughs> okay <laughs> that means uh, two or five uh, per year it's okay <laughs> okay so um i think that uh, this is the story of hebron okay here um in the story of hebron also we have uh, in 1997 uh, the protocol of hebron Okay, uh, the protocol of Hebron it was uh, signed by someone who is Palestinian and he doesn't uh, know anything about Palestine. He was the, the the mayor of Jericho. Okay, so when he signed the, the protocol of Hebron, they, he to they told him that we are going to take just one kilometer square from the space of Hebron. So. Uh, and they called it H2 area. H2 area, that's mean Hebron 2 area. And now we are in H2 area. So it happened is it is H1 area and H2 area. H1 area, it is under the control of the Palestinian Authority. But H2 area, under the Israeli Authority. Okay? So now we are in H2 area, which is just for the Israeli uh, Authority control. And the Palestinians, if they want to come to this place, they must have permission before two days or three days before their visit to here. But recently, 
all of the people who are living in this space they have numbers so for example okay i'm number one number two number three okay and you have a number okay so they call the, the people by their numbers and if you don't have a number and you are resident in this place here you cannot enter to your home okay this is recently after the intifada which started in august or september 2015 till now okay so at one area which is out of the Ibrahim mosque it is the area which is the a little far away from here but edge to area we are in edge to area the palestinian authority they are they do not have the the permission to enter the, to this place here but the israeli authority or the israeli soldiers they have uh, the uh, the authority or they have the permission to go wherever they want mm -hmm. okay and the as you see here in the edge to area, which is just at the, in the, at the beginning of the old city till the, till the end of the Shuhada street, we have 17 checkpoints and 101 closure. So the quarters are closed by the iron gate or blocks or maybe fences. Okay, we are going to throw the, um, the old souk and you will see that this by your eyes, inshallah. So, uh, now I think that it's better to enter to the Ibrahim Mosque mm -hmm. and we are entered there but if you have something dangerous, knife or pocket knife or something like that, it's better to leave it now. Yeah. Okay, or otherwise they will consider you as terrorists. Yeah. Okay, so now we are going to pass through these three doors. The three doors here, just put your bags and your things just in this small window and pass it for the us. Okay, so uh, as you see here, the wall, the great wall here, it's dated to the Herodian area. So the Herodos who built this uh, wall, so there was, for the structure, they, uh, they started by four walls without an entrance or any roof. So the four walls, after the four walls, we have um, many uh, restoration and uh, rehabilitation for these two, four walls. And the structure of the Ephraim Mosque, it is the same structure for the church. Okay, so it is considered to be a church when they started in the, for, to build this uh, place. But actually, we don't know if it was a church or not. Also, also we, can, we are not sure if it was a mosque or not. And we don't know also if it was a synagogue or not. So the structure is for the, the Christian, but uh, the Muslim and for the Jews, they do their uh, prayers inside. Okay, so the three religions, they have um, something in, special inside this place. Okay, so we have here the, uh, the house of Abrahamic, which started in the Fatimid area, um, era, sorry, it was 1299, okay? So, um, it is for the Islamic uh, calendar, not uh, for the Christian calendar. Okay, 1299, and now we are 1433. Okay, so, uh, this, um, the Hasbik Abrahamic, it was, uh, uh, done just for the poor people and for all of the pilgrims that, that who came from all over the world to do their pilgrimage in the Ibrahim Mosque. Because in Islam we have the, the structure of the pilgrimage is to do your uh, pilgrimage at uh, Mecca, Al Medina, Jerusalem, at uh, the uh, Al Aqsa Mosque and to finish it in, in the Ibrahim Mosque. Okay, it was years ago, but now no one have uh, the permission to come to Palestine. All of the, the Arabs, they are not allowed to come to Palestine. So uh, this uh, one, it was made just uh, for the visitors of Hebron, the, the poor people, uh, and it is not about Hebron. It is the only city, uh, the people, and uh, no one sleep and he, he is hungry. No, one, no hungry man in Hebron city. So it is just because of the Hasbik Abrahamic. So it was, it is a, a kind of soup. It's made by the wet wheat and the sugar and some uh, other ingredients. It is very delicious. And if we have the time, I will let you 
taste it. It's very delicious, I think. Okay. <laughs> so let's go now inside. But uh, when we are going to enter for, for all of the girls. To prepare for Ramadan, they put the new. Yeah, that's a good yeah. Just to put the shoes. Okay, you can take off your shoes now. And put them here. I like this scene here. I do too. <laughs> Now we are inside the Ibrahim Mosque and um, we are in the women mosque because in Islam we have uh, to separate between men and women through uh, praying. So this one, it is just for women and they use it just on Friday because we have a lot of people to do their pray here on Friday but other days we do not have a lot of people who came here because of the situation. Okay. So uh, this uh, place here is called Al Jawliya Mosque. Al Jawliya that is related to the, the to the King Al Jawli, Said Al Jawli from Turkey, who ordered to enlarge the Ibrahim Mosque and to make a special mosque for the women. So we have here all of the decoration here are re related to the uh, Mamluk era. So as you see, the marble here, the marble uh, plaque, white and red related to the Mamluk era and the glasses, the decoration above, <clears throat> also related to the Mamluk era. The Mamluk era, it was 1355 to 1548. Okay? And here we have um, that one which is called Al-Mihrab. Al-Mihrab, it is the, our direction to make uh, our prey, which is the direction of Mecca. Okay? Before our direction to make the prey, it was Jerusalem, Al Aqsa Mosque. But now it is for uh, Mecca. Okay, so this is Al Mihrab. Can you sit here or would you rather not? Mm -hmm. Later, later. Okay, I understand. No, that's good. That's good. Okay, as in men. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So do you have any questions right now? The man who. They were a slave. I mean, were they? You can't say they were a slave. Yeah, yeah. They, they because they didn't do a lot of things here. Just that they make it. They were uh, interested by the decoration. They yeah. were interested by something extraordinary. Yeah. But something beautiful. Yeah. Okay. So let's go to the next mm -hmm. mall. Yeah. From America. America. The chef Tom. Just they are registered the number of visitors. Right. Okay, so this uh, gate here is also related to the Mamluk era. And this verse is all poets, also from the Mamluk era. And if you see here, the original door of the Ibrahim Mosque is still. So uh -huh. it is made from wood and iron. The first cenotaph, which is for Sarah, the wife of the prophet Abraham. So it is a cenotaph, as you see, and as, as I told you before, we are not sure if they were buried in this place or not. Okay, we have a lot of histories about the archaeological people from Germany, from uh, uh, different nationalities. They told us that they, when they make uh, here, um, 
discoveries or they were they were in, uh, when they came here to make their research uh, they saw a curse of people and force but uh, in Islam we have uh, an idea which is the curse of uh, uh, prophets uh, they still remain the same even uh, the, after a thousand years mm -hmm. so they will remain the same but uh, here as they told us they 